And I am back. <coughs> and once again, we'll be taking a look at the new features added with the new game update. One thing I noticed immediately was that I finally was awarded for the completion of an old Steam achievement that I should have gotten long ago. So thanks Lava for finally solving that issue. And while on that track, I will cover all the lesser features real quick, so that we can dive into the big one right after. So, the rare star talent book you can get on the Shimmer Island now costs 2 points, instead of 3. An issue with the Rando Island has now been fixed, where the random event boss sometimes wouldn't spawn. We now have cool backgrounds for all characters in the character menu based on the area you left them in. And swapping characters can now be done with one simple click instead of two. There is now a feature for the tower defense minigame that allow you to disable damage numbers. This really helps to reduce lag when there's a lot of monsters on the screen all at once. Some visual updates have been done on the first few maps in World 1 and they look pretty good. It's also worth mentioning that there's a new shop rotation for the arcade, as with every major update. But now, let's check out the new area. The first thing you'll have to do is killing blood bones until they drop an equinox mirror, which is a 1 in a thousand drop. Using it will teleport you to the new area, the equinox valley. And from now on, you will have it as a teleport option on your map. Once there, you will find an NPC. Interact with it and unlock your first Dream Cloud. Dream Clouds hold challenges that vary a lot in difficulty, but some of the rewards you get for completing them are amazing. The challenges are not randomized, and if you're interested, you can easily find them on the Island Wiki, or probably somewhere in the Island Discord server as well. But I have a quick tip for you guys, without spoiling too much. Make sure you buy your daily Bobby O Pickles from the World 2 vendor if you're not already doing it, because you will need a lot of them. You unlock new bonuses by completing challenges, and then you can upgrade them each time the bar you see in the middle of the screen is filled. The bar will fill up automatically over time. Your current fill rate can be seen here by unselecting everything else, and by completing certain challenges your charge rate can be improved. There are four new resources that you can unlock, each having their own vial with unique bonuses. You get them the same way as with every other vial, by dropping the resource in front of the cauldron in the World 2 town. And from what it looks like, the bar you get from smelting the ore doesn't seem to have any use as of now, but that might be added later on. You can't AFK or use time candy in this area, but spending your minigame attempts here seems to be the fastest way to gather the resources. The only thing you actually need the resources for is to upgrade the vials. Anyways, this is how far I got the first day after the update dropped. See this as a little bonus. I know it might be a bit late, but for those who maybe haven't done their weekly battles yet, or have their second attempt left, this is how I managed to get a full kill this week. Just select the options in this order, and if you have enough power, you should be able to get all 5 tiers of the boss. And that's it. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in another video.